So my presentation today was about the effects of digitization on the copyright uh, protected industries, books, music, movies. And the idea is that digitization has taken a couple of different forms. On the one hand, the first big manifestation of digitization was Napster in 1999, which made it possible for consumers to get access to music without paying for it. And really, as the dust has settled in the research community, th that's been shown to have a devastating effect on revenue to recorded music. Now, if that were the only impact, one would expect a big reduction in revenue to have really negative impacts on the quality and quantity of creative output. But it turns out that that's not the only aspect of digitization. There have also been reductions in the costs of bringing products to market. And as a result, it's not clear uh, a priori whether there would be a reduction in, uh, in, in new products. You know, instead, you really just have to look at data to see what's happened. And it turns out that, on balance, there's been a great increase in the number of products created in the music industry. And moreover, they seem to be very useful to consumers. Surprisingly, even though revenue has collapsed, since Napster, there's been an increase in the service flow from mu uh, music products created since 1999. In books, uh, the changes have been pretty astounding. Uh, first, there's been an enormous increase in the number of new books coming to market. Many of these books are self-published electronic books, and many of them are not of much interest to anyone. But what's interesting is that uh, a, a rising and actually now substantial share of books that end up being bestsellers in the US are books that originally came to market as self-published works. That's interesting because those are books, many of which would never have made it past traditional gatekeepers. So it's really revolutionary. In movies, uh, the nature of the evidence is a little bit different. But in movies, it's also true that there's been a very large increase in production, the number of movies produced. and con Related, there's a big increase in the number of movies available to consumers from any point in time. So it used to be people watch movies in theaters, and there's a pretty limited number of movies that get released into theaters each year. But now that digital distribution is not only possible, but increasingly popular, a lot of movies can be distributed to consumers. So twice or three times as many movies as uh, are distributed through theaters end up being available to consumers through digital distribution channels. On the one hand, it's tempting to conclude that copyright's not important. I think that's not the conclusion at all. I mean, I think in other contexts, if, if one just has bad news on the revenue side and costs don't change, one does see reductions in output. Copyright matters, revenue matters for bringing products to market. But I think what's really important in this context, as we think about policy changes, we should remember that there have been changes on the cost side and on the demand side. And so before we make any uh, provide regulatory relief or policy reform, we should think about what's really happening in the industry on both sides of the market. Uh, well, there's of course the usual caveat that more research is needed. And it's not just a throwaway line in this context. Data are fairly hard to come by in this context. They're either expensive or proprietary. And so uh, there's, there's the caveat that not all the right data are, are necessarily brought to bear, but I would hope that those who have data and have concerns about the results would share their data so that we can examine them and, and find the truth.